Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Marginal Costing, we are discussing Decision Making chapter. Okay? In Decision Making, I already gave you introduction about make or buy decision. When we have to make, when we have to buy. Related to that theoretical part is over. Now we will see today practical problem. So one problem I will show you, you will understand easily. Then after that next problem I will give you as homework. Now let us focus on this problem. So this is the problem. Read the problem carefully. 50 to 60 percent you will understand once if you read the problem slowly if you understand the problem. Solution is easy. Now the problem is here. A manufacturing company, a manufacturing company finds that while the cost of making a component number 86 manufacturing company their component is here component number is 86 and its own workshop is 10 rupees each through their own workshop it is costing to 10 rupees each the same is available in the market 8 rupees 50 pesa when the manufacturer approximately they are saying 10 rupees but in market it is available 8 rupees 50 pesa with an assurance of continuous supply, we will give you continuous supply, do not worry. So, component is available in the market 8 rupees 50 pesa. Now, give you a suggestion whether to make or buy this component. First thing is that whether to make or buy, this is first question. Second question is give also your views in case supplier reduces the price from 8 rupees 50 pesa to 6 rupees 50 pesa supplier cost is 8 rupees 50 pesa na if he is going to decrease reduce the price 8 rupees 50 pesa to 6 rupees 50 pesa if he is going to reduce then what to do make or buy two cases we have to give now what is the information given the cost data is as follows material 3 rupees Direct labor 3 rupees, oh, other oh, oh, variable expenses 1 rupee and fixed expenses 3 rupees, total together 10 rupees. Now first of all we need to calculate variable expenses, exactly the cost, how much cost does it makes for this product 86. You know that fixed expenses are always same, need not to consider fixed expenses. Now remember one thing whatever 10 rupees is given that is including fixed expenses. Ignore this. Now we have to calculate actual cost so that we can give our decision. First step is calculation of actual cost. Solution calculation of actual cost or you can say it as a variable cost, marginal cost, anything you can say. So this is the first step. Now what we are going to calculate? Uh, given to us 4 items, 1, 2, 3, 4. Fixed expenses are always same. Need not to take the fixed expenses whether we are going to manufacture or not. Fixed expenses are same. That is why we are not going to consider this fixed expenses. Okay. Now what we are taking? Material. Material 3 rupees. Then direct labor. 3 rupees. And other variable expenses. 1 rupee. Total it is, we are not taking fixed expenses, okay. So, total it is 7 rupees. 7 rupees is the actual cost. If we want to manufacture, the actual cost is 7 rupees. But at what rate they are giving the same is available in the market at 8 rupees 50 pesa. 8 rupees 50 is more now. When we manufacture, it is coming to 7 rupees only. So, it is better to make the product. So, we can write a sentence here uh, as the point number A for this we are giving our answer okay? as the cost market price is 
मार्केट प्राइस इज एट रुपीज फिफ्टी पैसा वेर एज वेर एज मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कॉस्ट इज सेवन रुपीज मार्केट प्राइस इज एट रुपीज फिफ्टी पैसा मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कॉस्ट इज सेवन रुपीज वॉट डू यू से इट्स बेटर टू make the product okay it is advised advised to make the product make the product as its manufacturing cost cost is less than market value market price you can say one line also first we have calculated actual cost is how much you got 7 rupees so our conclusion is this market price is <coughs> 8 rupees 50 paisa 8 rupees 50 paisa market price okay this is but when we manufactured when we calculated it is coming to 7 rupees only when we deducted the fixed expenses actual cost is 7 rupees only Why to pay eight rupees fifty paisa when we are getting at seven rupees only? When if you manufacture, so that is what we have given conclusion. It is advised to make the product, make make the product as the manufacturing cost. This is less than the market price of eight rupees fifty paisa. This is over a bit. Now coming to b bit. Give also your views in case supplier reduces the price from eight rupees fifty paisa to six rupees fifty paisa. actual cost is here our say 7 rupees if the supply is is going to decrease it from 8 rupees 50 paisa to 6 rupees 50 paisa 650 is less than 7 rupees na in such case we can buy or make we can buy the product because less why to take the headache right so now conclusion for the b bit if the supplier na if the supplier decreases says cost from 8 rupees 50 paisa to 6 rupees 50 paisa rupees na 6 rupees 50 paisa it is advised it is recommended you can say advised you can say it is recommended mandated to buy the product buy the product as manufacturing expenses are more than more than the market price that's it like this we have to give the conclusion one thing is that we have done the calculation 7 rupees it is coming as per the first case if you see 7 rupees this is but they are selling at 8 rupees 50 paisa 7 rupees is better na so what we said better to make the product in second case what we have done second case is that they wanted to decrease it to 6 rupees 50 paisa if you manufacture 7 rupees if you buy it outside as per the decreased price it is less so better to buy where it is buy the product as it is less than the manufacturing cost am i clear take the screenshot or note down shall i give you give you one problem as homework so just stay connected okay second problem you have to work out take it as homework i have changed only the numbers only so see the problem a manufacturing company finds that uh, while the cost of making component of 86 let's make it as 100 or otherwise uh, 90 90 in its own workshop is 6 rupees each 
and uh, the same is available in the market 5 rupees 60 paisa okay with an assurance of continuous supply same like previous problem give the suggestion whether to make or buy this component or give also your views in case supplier reduces the price from 5 rupees 60 paisa to 4 rupees 60 paisa if he is decreasing now the cost data is available material direct labor variable expenses fixed expenses total it is 6 rupees same like this problem only pause the video and work out and see okay pause the video work out and see next if you have done check out your answer now let me explain simply so the cost is here six rupees this is including fixed expenses if we exclude fixed expenses it is coming to five rupees only okay five rupees but it's available in the market five rupees sixty paisa 5 rupees is less na so better to make as per this suggestion and second one is that give your views if the supplier is decreasing 5 rupees 60 paisa to 4 rupees 60 paisa actually we are getting to 5 rupees only if they are decreasing to 4 rupees 60 paisa 4 rupees 60 paisa is less why 5 rupees so in second case better to buy because 4 rupees 60 paisa we are getting cost is 5 rupees why to make 5 rupees why, why to manufacture for 5 rupees when it is available for 4 rupees 60 paisa so second case it is advised to buy the product is it clear if you are clear refer more problems from your test book and there are many more concepts in the same chapter decision making but all the chapter all the problems are very lengthy Board is not sufficient for me to work out. So, I leave it to you all. Check out and understand the concept. Work out it by yourself. Introduction I gave you. Subboard problems we have done. Okay. So, take care of the rest of the chapter. You can work out by yourself. Check out the playlist of our channel. Many subjects already covered. And practice well. Good luck.